welcome back for the online class let us continue about the topic morphological image processing now in previously we were discussed on basic algorithms which are most used for the purpose of morphological operation that is of modifying the image according to the requirement of application now in today we will see some of the basic morphological algorithms apart from what we have studied previously okay now we are we are dealing with a binary images means the image will be represented with either with 1 or 0 okay this is the uh, the what the algorithm we are discussing on Im binary image okay among that the one of the algorithm we are using is boundary ex extraction for the purpose of extraction of an image now this is a uh, equation will be given here beta of a a is considered as a image it is represented with the a now and b is a structuring element the structuring element it will be very depends on the requirement of the application on which we are performing now this is a beta of a is equal to a minus a erosion with the structuring element b hope you understood and you, uh, i made a clear on the symbols we are using it with the corresponding letters with uh, if it is a circle under that hyphen it will be considered as erosion okay now this is a, a example how we are using it for the purpose of boundary extraction let us consider a image a with a darkened boxes it will be considered as a content of the image with a empty with a white no image now we have a structuring element with a 9 by 9 box with a gray shaded the very important is that we will in the operation the basic operation what we will perform we will keep the structuring element b on pixel by pixel if it get matches we will retain the content if it not then we will erase the content of the image a okay now uh, well if you consider as a first pixel if i consider as a first pixel here we will keep it okay there is a very first pixel on this one okay we will keep this one structuring element so out of this one okay the what is the size of your structuring element it is a 9 by 9 okay now i have to consider the first pixel here this is my first pixel okay now among that the 9 by 9 okay like this okay out of this one there is like a only two there is a four pixels are covered with the values here these four pixels are covered here then the rest all three okay and there is like a one more element will come here on this one okay one more element this three okay this this one is not covered if it is not covered we will erase the a uh, content from this image okay this will be get erased like this this will be get erased means it will be complete complemented with the white similarly you just move into the second next pixel in the next pixel you just keep this one at this position with respect to the center pixel you match it here is it exactly not matching yet no okay you erase this pixel also similarly when you drag it in this way okay each pixel by pixel all the first row will be get erased means it will be turned with the white okay now very interestingly when 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 we when we when you go exactly okay at uh, this pixel at this pixel okay now if i am matching here okay now this is what the match okay now there is a center pixel okay it will be from second row second column okay now 
when 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 i drag my structuring element on the pixel at the center pixel it is exactly matching means we will retain the content this is what i have maintained here similarly when you when you drag it just the next pixel means you just okay you just copy pixel by pixel okay no this is not matching here so it will be get, got erased likewise when you when you when you move it throughout the image your structuring element few of the pixels will be turned on few of the pixels will be turned off means erased okay now after the operations okay you will end up okay with a i hope you can see image a image a this will be image a okay now the structuring element okay that is a eroded b this is what a eroded b okay what the equation will be a minus a erosion of b okay what the operations you perform a erosion b now what what will what will be remain you consider this is a full image a okay now a minus of this component means all the black black value black it will be turned to white and white will be turned to the black means that is a region is a here so ultimately you will end up here uh, all white will be turned to the black black will be turned to the white means likewise okay this is your a image okay now output of this one is equation here a minus a erosion b okay this is a image extraction it is a boundary extraction techniques okay what we are using it for the image application purpose okay i hope you understood this one okay this is uh, how this is one structuring element i took here then the many structuring element i covered it in the previous previous hour i shown in the form of slide okay you can have any any structuring element and you can perform the operation on a image that depends on the requirement on the image okay now the, the the next algorithm is region filling okay it begins with a point p inside the boundary and then fill the entire region with ones okay this is what the algorithmic step step of operations will be given all non boundary that is the background points are labeled with the a zero okay now begin with a point p inside the boundary and then fill the entire region with the ones okay this is what the first operation and all non boundary background points are labeled zero okay assign a value of 1 to p to begin this is what the step of operations we are performing here we'll welcome to the moon. and this is a a region filling equation what we are given here x x k okay it will be k will, will be vary from okay yeah, 1 to n that is depends on the structuring element okay x x of k minus 1 okay that is plus okay i hope you understood this one plus okay b is a nothing but your structuring element intersection of a complemented image okay intersection on complemented image that is x not is equal to p and b is symmetric uh, symmetric structuring element in figure okay 9.15c okay now we will come to the how the operation will be performed okay now let us uh, in detail i'll discuss on this equation okay now this is what the image now we have a structuring element b we have xk minus 1 okay let us take that now current value of k is 1 x of 1 is equal to x of 1 minus 1 that's the previous image what we are obtained and region filling okay that is with a hit or miss with the structuring element and intersected value of a of c okay now let us see how we will perform here okay now there is a image a it has been given for you take a complement of that means all white will be turned to the zero okay one will be turned to zero zero to one now a c will be available and the structuring element is given here d okay what is the what is the step here okay now in which begin with the point p inside the boundary and then fill entire region with the ones 
all non boundary background points are labeled with a zero okay means what i have to do here okay now when you when you consider here this is the image okay what the image i have obtained okay with respect to a okay not a complemented image okay i hope you can see there is like uh, this this is your structuring element structuring element keep it on this point and fill it fill it with a one okay fill it with the one okay like sorry for this one i i think i went here okay this is the one this has to be get filled with the one next this is what i have obtained okay now this this point has to be get filled okay this is what the second point okay now simultaneously when when you filling here okay you when when you when you when you keep this point here okay like this this is this is covered this is covered this is not covered this is not covered but it will be get filled here and again i have to fill it this one this one okay likewise the entire inside region will be get filled and you obtain with a, a dotted 111 this is as per the algorithm what i stated here one okay likewise you just move it with the for all the all the inside image wherever wherever it is a one wherever it is a white it will be get filled with the one one okay but the boundary has to be zero make sure that the boundary is zero. is a plain plain image what i am getting here a plain is boundary is zero and the what you are what you are painting is nothing but a one okay now after the after the operation set of operations when you perform okay it is not like you need to be performed for eight times okay it is uh, now here i perform for the six times no okay how long the all the contents of the image will be not get filled here you you need the process will be repeated okay for the purpose i shown with like a 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay not like this okay it will be get iterative iterative content because that's why like it is given x of k is equal to x of k minus 1 okay plus okay with a b and intersection of a complement okay when when you perform this one okay whatever the whatever the content okay whatever you are end up at the end that is the end of the image what you obtain okay that will be nothing but okay intersected with the image a this is final and output what you are getting here intersection of this one and this one okay what what, what there is a complementary complementary ac and what the process you have obtained here the final outcome for final outcome from the image okay boundary operations okay i hope uh, i hope you are following it this one okay likewise likewise what 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 the operations we are performing shown on the composed of like a white circles and the black inner spots okay the objective is to eliminate the reflections by hole filling okay now this is something like uh, what the uh, image wh what we have obtained here this is what the application uh, i am showing it here this is the first applications what i shown here this is the second one okay there is a, there are the cells are there inside the each cell there is like a dark dark with the uh, spots are available after final and after the final outcome okay i hope you can see there is the dot the dotted area will be erased out and this is the outcome from the image this is what the one of the applications we can use it for the filling purpose okay since we are also call it call it as a hole filling okay the hole filling operations on a image okay now like uh, if if you might have seen sometime like if you go to the photo show, uh, photo studio okay where the photographer has taken a photos and he will edit it okay depends on his uh, the, the using its uh, own software he will take out the pen brush okay he will start editing 
okay if there are there, there are any kind of like a spots or on a face or some kind of like a okay unwanted uh, content is visible those are all data will be get, got erased by using that software now here the algorithm will do it there is a process of operations hope you understood this one this is a one of the algorithms okay it, it will be used in image processing Now, the next, the next uh, technique we are using is thinning. The thinning, uh, thinning of an image by using a structuring element again. Okay, we have n number of structuring elements. I'll show it here. There are a few structuring elements we are using it. This is what the uh, basic equation we are using it in the in the operation of thinning. That is, a. hit or miss transform what we are given here okay now a okay a minus hit or miss with the b structuring element and all together minus okay that is okay a minus a a hit or miss equal to a intersection a hit or miss is a complemented data this is the equation we are using it anyway i'll discuss on how the operations will be performed here symmetric thinning sequence of structuring element there is like a there are like a sequence of structuring elements are used here b1 b2 b3 b4 like this okay we will we'll come to the, know how what are the b1 b2 and all this okay now i hope you can see this is a thinning operation okay we are interested only in the pattern matching with the structuring elements so no background operation is required in the hit or miss transform a more okay it is a one of the like useful expression for thinning and symmetrical sequencing on a structuring element okay now there are like i hope you can see there are like uh, eight structuring elements are given and eight structuring element okay now when 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 the first pattern look at the very first pattern okay when it get matches exactly match on a image it's the left and the right will be get filled hope you understood this one okay if 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 you keep this one the structuring element b1 on a image if it matches like this then the two regions this region and this region will be get filled okay similarly okay similarly when when you go for like a second structuring element Structure, second structuring element here okay when it matches like this when it, when there is a match of kind of this one this point and this point will be get filled for the that is a structuring element b2 okay likewise when when you you just rotate it this is kind of like a rotations we are doing it now 45 degree rotations okay there so is 140 there is you consider the zero 45 degree rotations okay now it will be get rotated here okay now this will be get filled here okay now this will be get filled here this will be get filled here okay like likewise 45 degree okay this is what you obtain again you rotate this is 45 degrees you find a b2 okay for the, for the purpose of understanding i can i can give it here okay now this is one here okay you one when when you rotated here this will be get filled here so i get here second structuring element again you rotate this one you will get here you, you, you rotate one pixel 40 it will be as good as you are rotating a 45 degree okay you get here second structuring element third fourth five six so totally you you if you rotate it here means full image here okay you will end up here with the a last structuring element i hope there is like a mistake here in this one okay like this 9 by 9 okay now where are the dots you are finding if it is a match that region will be get filled this is what the operations we are performing for the thinning operations okay now we will we'll see the the one 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 of the structuring element or oh, this is what the image a what i given here okay now okay 
when when a hit or miss a1 okay with a b1 structure element look at this one it will be written with a value okay now if there is like a hit or miss it is not matching the the value will be got erased from this one second hit or miss with, with a b1 structure element i consider the b1 structure element okay you consider b1 here this will be got erased this will be erased now this one all the points will be got erased okay now when when you, when you come to this point okay where where uh, okay at the point of like like this one okay it is not get met it is not get matching here you retain this one similarly not matching here you retain this one it, it will be retained from the original image like as when you rotate it for the full images here it you will find here a1 image even similarly okay by using a structuring element b2 you perform okay we, the operations will be performed on a1 image okay uh, the first a1 operation will be a1 is equal to a hit or miss with a structuring element b1 and you will you will you will get the output of a1 image and for the second second operation a2 is equal to a1 hit or miss or with a structuring element b2 means the b2 operations will be performed on this image likewise when you perform the operations again the same here uh, there is like a hit or miss here okay q of the pixels will be erased out and you will end up with the same element okay that is a same content of image here likewise okay now a3 will be equal to a2 hit or miss with a b3 okay now the 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 contents will be getting erased by one by one okay i hope you can see there is a few pixels will be getting erased here okay now a3 a4 a5 okay you, when you drag it by pixel by pixel the value if it is matches it will be written if it is not matches it will be get erased okay now likewise when you when you perform for the throughout the image here okay now at the end at the end you will find a a8 comma 6 converted to m connectivity m connectivity is just if there is a connectivity connectivity m connectivity in the early classes i discuss here m connectivity is nothing but adjustance adjustance to be decided here okay m connectivity just for a for a minute i'll just make it here okay there is a p and q if there is a connectivity between p and q okay there is like a this point and this point has to be null it should not be from the vector v okay then we call it as a adjust m adjustance so m connectivity data what we have observed here okay okay this is one of the operations okay there is like a image will be got thin okay now this is the thin boundary what we have what we obtained at the end of the image okay it is one of the image applications we are using it for the purpose of image processing 